Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for being with us as we take a look at our record low achieved this morning of 69 degrees. That broke the old record set 43 years ago back when we had 70. So that 69 this morning was the lowest temperature since the 13th of June when we got down to 68, so in about six weeks. So it was well deserved. A function of dry air in the region. You can see that here on the water vapor imagery. The brown is very dry air. The dew point temperatures are only in the 60s. Normally they're in the mid to upper 70s. And unfortunately they are going to go back up. So it's uh, too much of a good thing. So with the rising uh, dew point temperatures, the humidity increases. Low 70s tomorrow, mid 70s Saturday. So kind of a frown and a big frown. And we want to turn that upside down, but we're going to have to wait till the next cold front. That's a ways off. Uh, into Sunday and Monday. All right, so the humidity will be back and it is directly related to the winds, which are going to be down again tomorrow and Saturday, but increase to windy here on Sunday and Monday. A little bit of opportunity right in here late Saturday into Sunday to see a little bit of rain and then the winds will blow all that rain opportunity away. Our short term forecast is dry and clear with a nice sunset in mid 80s by 7 o'clock, mid 70s by midnight. And yes, we'll be down near record low levels again in the morning. The record low for tomorrow is 70 and we'll be very close. 71 at 5 a.m. and the forecast low of 71. That might need to be altered down to 70 with the light winds later tonight. Temperatures in the upper 60s inland to the upper 70s along the immediate coast and on area beaches. So not as comfortable tomorrow morning and 72 degrees, but still not bad. Lots of sunshine and 89 at noon and 91 with increasing humidity and a light to moderate breeze at 5 o'clock tomorrow. We'll end up with a high of 93 with 97 inland and 86 over in Port Aransas. Satellite and radar shows clear skies now. High pressure dominating at the surface all the way up into the Tennessee Valley. This front in the Gulf of Mexico Hurricane Center took another look at this today, said there's nothing there to worry about. And uh, I agree with him as we talked about last night. This just got sheared apart, so it's not an issue and not a problem as most of that moisture stays offshore. The other big weather story, it's highly unusual. The eastern two-thirds of the country is 80 degrees or less in the 80s and 70s. No 90s east of the Rockies except for the Amarillo area. Here's the forecast then. The uh, moisture tries to return tomorrow but doesn't happen. That uh, front backs up as a warm front and brings a few showers here on Saturday but not many and they get blown away then on Sunday with the winds. So 71 tonight, 93 tomorrow, 72 and 74 and 92 on Saturday with a few showers around. By the time we get to Sunday, it gets windy and 94 degrees. So it's back to normal uh, here in South Texas, normal for El Nino, which is uh, dry and hot as we move into the latter part of the weekend and all of next week. Look at that 98 there on Wednesday of next week. That is unbearable compared to what we've got right now. Okay, let's hold on to this. Yeah, Please, I wish we could, yeah. It'll come back, but not until uh, probably the end of September. Coming up. Uh